Hello. I don't want to do it that way. Mamma mia. Look at that spider. Hey, it's huge. That guy is enormous. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Spins a web, any size, catches seeds, just like guys look out. Hello, hello everybody, what's up? Dennis Allen here. Look what I got. I got a new toy. That is the Ohio Industries Professional Grade dump cart made specifically for Billy Ray Valentine. Maybe not specifically, but it fits there. Um, I just picked that up locally in town. It's a used one. I paid uh, $400 for it. I bought used. It's like new. It's, uh, I don't know, not sold as new. It's supposed to be 600 so I saved 200 bucks. But I got a gen in there. Let me show you. There's Jen the generator. This is going to be my mobile power station. Um, when I'm doing different jobs down here, I need a generator. Now I need a generator up there. So instead of throwing it in the back in a pickup, I mean in the back of the Jeep, which I would, that's what I was doing. Now I got this little cart and also be good for firewood. So twofold, very good. Nice big tires, run over big things. The other tires, I could have bought one for, um, there was a Husqvarna. Metal like that for, I think it was like, I think 200, but it wasn't even, it wouldn't even fit, it wouldn't fit, um, it was about up to here, and about up to there, for 200, so I get to put the tanks in here now, and then have all this extra storage for double the amount, but much bigger tires, the other one had little tiny, little tiny tires, look, these have grease fittings in there, really good quality. I don't know if I have that hooked up right. Anybody know about that? It looks a little suspect there. Seems like a, uh, a weak point right there. But what do I know? All right, let's see if we can make it up the up the hill of death. All right, let's see if I could back this thing up. Probably hit the van. I am not a good uh, trailer driver. I'm not mediocre. I hope this doesn't slide back. Put an auto set on the shift. See, that's exactly what I didn't want to do. Ay, caramba. Ah! Oh, now I got something in my eye. Ah, I can't win. All right, one eye. All right. It did roll back. It kind of hit, whoop, and I'm sliding. Billy Ray definitely could handle it. The tires are slipping a little. It's working that way. I don't know what I thought thinking that it wouldn't roll back, but I had the, uh, the wheel lock on it, but that doesn't ever work. Alright, so let me bring it up do what I gotta do. Oh, camera's the wrong way. Jenna generator, she's a running. <clears throat> Jen the juicer? No, that's not good. So here's what I'm doing. I know I'm doing a lot of food videos. Hey, maybe this will turn into a food uh, channel. I doubt it. But um, zip it. Here's another menu. Orange melon from 
I forget his name. My neighbor down the street. Grapes. Cherry tomatoes. Actually, everything here. Actually, everything here. Except for the apples or fermento. On this. So. I'm going to get some juicing going. My off-grid juicing system here. What you do is you just take some some veggies that you want to eat. This is some good old-fashioned arugula. It's a vegetable. Anybody know where that's from? These things you can't really... Well, don't listen to me. You probably could smash your fingers in there if you wanted to. Some, uh... Some kale. Yeah. The juice comes out the bottom. That's how you juice people. A little pepper. I buy the seconds, see it's got a little hole in it. I buy the seconds this way they uh, are cheaper. And if not, you kick that up a notch if you want. If not, the uh, they'd probably go to waste. I mean, they probably go to the pigs or something, but might as well buy them a little cheaper, save some money, throw an apple in there. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Now the grapes, I'm gonna do the, the stems and everything. Just like that. I'm gonna do them all. Maybe I won't do them all, there's a lot. I do want a lot of juice though. Maybe some more of this. And throw any other kale stick. And then get some uh, watermelons. Kick this down a little bit. Get oh man, that that arugula. Woo! Man, it smells so good. There's some watermelon in there. Throw some more in there. Look at that, you don't even have to tap it down. Nature, whoop, come on, seeds, seeds are popping out. I put the seeds and everything in there. And if you look at what a seed is, it's enough nutrients to grow an entire plant. So, I think it's pretty amazing. Alright, Jen's doing a good job. She's not even huffing and puffing over there. I should probably move that tarp. But let me throw the rest of these in there. An apple. If it fits in a hole, it fits below. That's the theme. Um, that's getting kind of full. So maybe I'll save the rest. That's enough juice for one day. I have some dessert of watermelon. And I got a lot of healthiness in my belly, so. Oh, that's pretty cool. That was worth it. All right, guys. That's that. Just getting little things done today. Like I said, I just got that. Oh, let me show you what else I got. I've been clearing out the uh, Airstream. So I got, I took the panels out. Look at this. Stainless steel five gallon water container. So, I got that, I invested in it, um, I'll put a link below. It's the only one I could really find that was halfway decent. The other one was like really crap, you could th say it was really thin metal. But this one's pretty good. I am kind of, uh, there's my generator, is Gen. That's the Yamaha EF. This is a really good one, recommended by Santos Service Center. It runs on propane and natural gas. You could tap in natural gas in there and gasolina so this is a three fuel system here and it works very well it has direct power for dc uh economy see how the fuel is off that's because the propane's on so that's that that's pretty much it i don't know if this video is over you know how i roll the day's still upon us, so I'm sure there'll be something else. So stick, stay tuned, and I'm going to drink my juice.
sorry about the mess. I mean, I'm doing spring cleaning. That's garbage, and that's my compost. That's a dog. Those are whatever. So, part of the mess, people. I'm going to drink my juice now. All right, so as I'm going to do some dishes, I'm going to clean up my, uh, my juice remnants and wash that thing out. Start filling that up with water. I got that because I'm kind of really picky with water. I do not want my water sitting in plastic in the airstream all day, especially when it comes out of a beautiful spring. So I got uh, some requests online about the magical bridge, how water flows this way, but doesn't come out this side. And I just want to show you guys that this is the cave right there. Let me try to, I'm in my flip flops. Let me see if I could put this rock here. Oh, that's dumb. Really hard to do it. Horrible flip flops. All right. So here's the creek. This is Fiddler, Fiddler Creek. And it comes to about here. When it's low, when it's flowing, it goes all the way through. This is the underneath the bridge. This is a little beefier than the Wrangler Star Bridge, if I do say so myself. It's got two actual bridges. The first bridge was built during the first quarry. And you can see how there is enough room that there's the boards that were there. They rotted away. Then they just put another bridge on top of it. This is for the bigger quarry that they did in the 60s, I believe. That's not looking good. I admit Wrangler Stars is a little prettier. Uh, I think mine's cooler, but whatever. So here's the water. There is a cave down there. If you listen. Hope it doesn't open up now. You can see in there some water flowing. Maybe. But that's the cave. One of the caves. I mean, this isn't one of the caves I consider, like, go check out my cave. This is more of a... Water disappears here. I wonder if this is stupid. Let's actually start digging in it. Oh, yeah, look down there. Oh, so it doesn't... The water level's not that... Not that, uh... Not that low. Boy, there's one fly that really wants to... Land in my face. Ugh. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this cave. I mean, I don't know how great it is. It's kind of at the corner of where the bridge is. That's why the bridge is kind of sagging. This whole area. Ah! Jeez. Those uh, walnuts are falling. And they're heavy. So this is the bridge. That's the water. There's the bridge I made in one of my last videos. Or Actually, a long time ago. But, that's that. Someone asked. So, here it is. I'm going to get back to Billy Ray. I'm going to climb up that way. So, before I start using this, they say to uh, stick a couple cups of bacon soda in there. I didn't use the organic, but it's pure, safe, and natural. Um, I'm not going to be drinking this. It's just to clean it out. And then uh, just mush it around a little. So the thing seems, you know, seems pretty sturdy. Yeah, I think the gas cans are a little tougher, but I don't want uh, my water sitting in plastic all day. So I'm gonna let that bake in the sun overnight. Hope I don't step on it this morning. I did my dishes, I'm gonna clean up a little, maybe. Got some other chores to do. So the sunset was interrupted by the one and only Johnny Cat. I should have known that by me coming to the pole, he would have decided to run up it. Because he likes to run up the poles. Johnny Cat, you're crazy. Never thought there was a crackhead cat. Like, oh, you can't touch me. Because if, <clears throat> if you're touching that wire and you touch me, I'm grounded. You'll get z z z z zapped. It, 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 it. He's crazy. He's crazy. Simply crazy. Try again. You're crazy.